did the professor believe in the law of the pendulum? No. No, he, he didn't. If he would have believed in the law of the pendulum, he would have remained there, but, but he didn't. And I think that illustration helps us understand a little bit about what Paul is describing for us when he says that we are to place our faith in Christ. Three questions emerge. We often talk about putting our faith in Christ, but what does that mean? What does the word faith really mean? That's the first question that I think we need to ask. What is faith? Now, I want to tell you this. A dictionary is not really going to help you out because the American dictionary doesn't really give us a good definition of faith. It simply tells us that it is belief and in truth. Well, in the Greek, the word that is used for faith is is much deeper and much broader than our understanding of faith in the English language. In fact, uh, the root word for the word faith, it comes in a noun form and in a verb form. In the noun form in the Greek, the word faith literally means to be persuaded. That's what it means, to be persuaded. Now, most of the time in the noun form, meaning to be persuaded, it is translated in your Bible as faith. So when Paul uses the word law of faith, it is the law of being persuaded. That is the word that he uses there. And in fact, in the verb form, it means the exact same thing, to be persuaded, but most often is translated believe. But both of them, both definitions, faith and belief, go beyond just the normal definition of belief because it's more than an intellectual understanding. It's more than believing a set of facts. To have faith is not simply to believe something about God. For example, we could say, I believe Jesus was born of a virgin, lived a sinless life, died on the cross, and rose again. And you can actually believe that, but that is not saving faith. It's believing facts. In fact, the scripture says Satan believes that. He knows those facts to be true too and is certainly not saved, not a follower of, of, of Christ. Uh, developing faith, this is one of the reasons that it's so frustrating sometimes when, when I hear uh, of people that are struggling and and wanting to trust God, and people will tell them, well, you know, you just need to, you just need to have more faith. What you need is, is, is more faith. The more faith you have, and, and, and listen, I want to tell you something. It's not the amount of faith you have. It's, it's who your faith is in that really matters. 